Hi guys. I hope you had a great Monday. Today is Tuesday, April 21st, and it is day 18 of our packet. So looking over our overview first for reading today, you're going to finish the rest of that text called um, Journey to the Bottom of the Sea, and you're going to finish those questions. For writing, we are moving on from personal narrative. Um, the ones that I did get to hear, you did a great job on your personal narrative. And now we're going to move into informational writing. And so today you're just going to be making a list of topics. We'll get to that in a second. Um, in math, you're finishing up that sheet that you've been working on since you've gotten your new packet. And we're going to switch from social studies to science today. And we're going to talk about hurricanes, which you guys know I love. So starting with reading, this is the text that you started last week. Um, you finished these questions one through six, and today you're going to be doing seven through 10. They're multiple choice and then one free response. Make sure you're going back to the text to find your answers and to find supporting details. Um, number 10 says, according to the article, what makes the deep sea a harsh environment for life? How does life survive there despite the difficult conditions? Use details from the article to support your answer. So you're going to be talking about what you know, but you're supporting it with details right from the text. Um, for writing today, you are going to think about topics that you know a lot about. And then you're going to generate a list of topics that you could teach your reader about. These are some things that you can think about to kind of get your brain working. So you could think about sports that you may play. You may think about people you admire that you know a lot about, things that you do or things you're good at, places that you've visited. Those are all things that you as a fifth grader have a lot of information about in your brain. So today, all you're doing is coming up with a brainstorm list of topics that you could write an informational piece of writing on. You guys already did an informational piece of writing earlier in the year. That's when we did our feature articles. So some of you wrote about famous athletes. Some of you wrote about favorite animals. Some of you wrote about um, saving the turtles, all kinds of different topics that interested you. Some of you, or I think all of us, we had to do extra research to support um, what we wrote about. If you don't have a computer at home that you can use, then you don't need to worry about that. Pick a topic that you will not have to research for. If you do have a computer, then great. You can do all the research you want, but you should be picking topics that you already have some knowledge about in order to write it. Today, you're just making a list of topics, though. You should have at least three, but I would shoot for five different topics that you could write about. Um, for math today, you should be, if not finished, really close to finishing this sheet. It's the front and the back, and it goes on to this next page. Um, if you did finish it at this point, you have some options. You can look at this hands-on box. Um, it tells you you can go on Epic and do some math activities. Um, you could create a word problem of your own with fractions for your family to solve. Um, and then over here we have our technology box. So you can go on IXL and work on that section there. Or if there's another section you need to work on, you can do that as well. You also may go on Prodigy um, if you would like to work on some more math skills. That's only if you have finished this sheet already. All of the technology is optional. So IXL, Epic, Prodigy, all that's optional because I know we don't all have a computer at home to work on. And then today we are flipping back to science and we're going to be reading about hurricanes. You guys all know I'm from Florida, so I've had a lot of experience with hurricanes. Um, and they are some really crazy big storms, but they're really cool to learn about. So you're going to be reading, um, it's three paragraphs, very simple. And then you're going to be answering these questions. We all have a lot of experience with ReadWorks at this point. So we know if we go back to the text, we can find the answer pretty easily. So you'll be answering this page and going on to this page. You'll be answering six and seven is free response. And there's only eight questions, so not too bad. Um, if you have any questions about anything in your packet, please let me know. I have one more reminder for you. I sent this out a couple weeks ago. There is a writing contest that you could do. It is about sports and um, it's a persuasive writing. And you're going to be writing about either one of these two prompts. You can talk about how sports positively impacted you or someone important to you. Or you could write about someone in the world of sports who has inspired you. So maybe an athlete um, or a coach that's inspired you. And this is due by this Friday. I can submit it for you if you would like me to. There's a $500 grand prize or a $250 um, prize too if you don't get the grand prize. But this is due by this Friday. Have a great Tuesday. Bye.